ETA to planet, three minutes, 15 seconds. <sighs> Not a second too soon. Avast ye, gorilla matey. What do you think, Gore, buddy? All the better dressed space pirates are wearing them. I think it makes you look... Yeah? Yeah? Stupid like Largo. Why haven't you recalibrated the old boat as I requested? Why don't you get your diggity dang big brain buddy Largo to do it? In all my travels and adventures, I have never seen any treasure as beautiful as you. You are a goddess. Thank you, Lago Thrix. It is rather a pleasant change to be appreciated. Yo, Romeo! Touchdown in 60 seconds, you're home. Not quite. of my humble abode. Sorry, got a universe to save. I have things to do. We got a heap of work waiting. I, for one, would be ecstatic. Well, you're not one, banana brain. Sorry, opera season, you know, but my cousin Emil would love to. I apologize for the rudeness of the others. I will at least walk you to your door. Me too. Some monkeys just don't appreciate savoir faire. What the monkey loving? Monkey hating, actually. Well, well, well. There's nothing as convenient as home delivery, Largo. A gentleman always makes good on his promises. You turned us in? What a mook I am! You used me, Lago Thrix. And now I will use you as a punching bag! Yeah! Sorry, Goddess. I had an excellent teacher. That wasn't very smart, Capitan. Maybe not, but it was fun. You don't have a lot of brains, Simeon. But I do! Oh! Get this grotesque organ off of me! What's the matter, Mr. Wizard? I thought you liked hanging around with big brains. Oh! Brain freeze! Don't you just hate that? Lied, Lago, and you stole my friend from me. That's not all I am stealing. I want to enjoy my latest production, Space Monkeys on Ice! Well, now that you've thawed out, just relax and enjoy the hospitality of my summer home. Because when I'm done with you, your brains will be running it! You're quite a pirate, Largo. You stole more than our ship, didn't you? Indeed, Capitan. Your strength... Dr. Splitz's knowledge, Splitz's mechanical aptitude, Spider's agility and cunning, and Shaolin's fighting ability. Perhaps her heart, I think. Do not flatter yourself. My heart is theft-proof. A greatly overvalued organ. Come, Largo. Nebula awaits. Never touch me! We may have had business dealings. 
But I want none of you absorbed into me. Congratulations, Lago. You do have some standards. Uh, come on. You don't want to keep Lord Nebula waiting. He gets cranky. What was that? You want to be pals with that pirate mook? Nope. I just gave him the best the universe has to offer. And exactly how will your pride and childish vanity help our predicament? This room is definitely you, Rhesus. Just some place to relax my mind. Have you secured the private adventure, Rhesus 2? Yes, Lord Nebula. We will begin teardown immediately. Find the secret of the anti-force hidden on the ship and eliminate the space monkeys. Ah, this itching and shaping. Do not fail, Rhesus 2. I am just in the mood to reduce you to a pulpy mass. Lord, have you considered calamine lotion? <laughs> What say we have a little mindless fun with the... Largo? Largo! I do not understand this. Why have you freed us after betraying us? Alas, I fell victim to your Capitan, absorbing his strongest attributes. Which are... My dedication to duty and absolute loyalty to my crew, of course. Actually, it was his pride and childish vanity. I was not about to let Rhesus 2 use me to destroy you. So, Marco, betrayal seems to be a habit with you. Since you want to lie down with monkeys, you can die with them too! <laughs> contact with Rhesus long enough to absorb something, besides a few disturbing images of frontal lobes and tweezers, I managed to learn about the building's security system. Keep alert, crew, and head for the ship. Next time, touch someone with eyes in the back of their head. I'll keep that in mind, Capitan. They're escaping! All brains to the anti-spacecraft weapons! We'll blow them out of the sky! Lago, quick! In the ship! We're clear! No. Somebody must stop Rhesus too from shooting you down. And who better than me? You're a good monkey, Lago. I do what I can. That's just what I would have said. I know. Lago Thrix. I'm afraid he's... Toast? Oh, no. Before he saved us, I wished Lago would be hurt. Well, that's your first lesson in what jealousy is and what it does, Gore. It is a very bad emotion. My spaceship! Lago took it! How did he smuggle it out? That monkey-loving pirate boosted one of my Demetrons! Is he great or what? Uh, oh, uh, I never cared for him. Well, I kind of liked him. Toward the end? Hey, buddy, how about a little game of Magna Ball? Make that a three-way game? Oh, way, actually. 
I had nothing to do with it. No, 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 no. Really, I, I mean, I rather like the detestable little ball. Of course, he was rather pushy, but I would never do...